Oh, oh, it looks moving. beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. You got this, you got this, you got this. Bomb spaghetti. Oh. That was so scary. <laughs> there was terror on everyone's face that side of the camera. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna to be making a vintage but vile recipe. Carly, what is this thing called? It's called chicken buffet in aspic. That's right, chicken buffet in aspic, which is essentially like a chicken jello with an assortment of different vegetables and accoutrement. We found this recipe through a TikTok from Retro Recipes. According to them, this recipe was originally printed in a 1962 issue of American Home Magazine, where it was described as the perfect dish to impress guests at an evening dinner. The delicacy of this dish is balanced with the playful whimsy from the gelatin. Look at that jiggle. So we have our chicken, our gelatin, and our vegetables, and we're all set to make this vintage wiggly dinner. So we can answer the question, is this vintage recipe really as vile as it sounds? Or maybe it's good. We're gonna find out. All right, let's get gelatinous. For the record, the people that did this recipe on TikTok look miserable eating it. After that very first bite, you'll be absolutely speechless. Yeah, no, they um, they look pretty happy while they're making it, but then at the end when they're tasting it, they do not look happy. But we have all of their ingredients here, and I believe that we have all of the same doohickeys that they did. Like yes. the same mold, I mean, probably the same Morton salt, but you know, in the mold's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, Carly had to track this down on eBay. eBay? It was Etsy. Etsy. Wow. Yeah, okay. this is a vintage. Oh, we got it. It's a replica. Is it? No, I think it's actually it's really vintage. vintage. It was the last one. F me. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's vintage. And the main ingredient in chicken jello is chicken flavored gelatin. So we need to start off by making our chicken broth. We're gonna start by adding two chicken breasts to a pot. All right, it's boiling chicken time. Welcome to our chicken boil. Yeah, this is what I used to give Crusty, it was boiled chicken. Yeah, chicken a la ancient cat. Got it, ready? Yes, <laughs> I'm filming the chicken. The chicken is being filmed. Yep, there it is, it's in the pot now. This is the B-roll you're subscribing for. This is the content that everyone wants to see. Yep, I can see it. It's so gross. <laughs> oh yeah, turn that one over. Yeah, they're it's too gross. 180, too gross. yeah, yeah. they don't see that. Yeah. Then we're gonna add in our vegetables. So that's a white onion. Love it, love to see it. Two bay leaves. Yeah, yeah. Two teaspoons of salt. One. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And six peppercorns. Oh! Peppercorn down. We're gonna add in eight cups of water. So floaty. And then we're gonna bring that to boil. Perfect. And then we're putting it on a high heat. Yeah. And now our favorite segment in this video, waiting for water to boil, maybe on camera. No, we're not doing it, no. We'll just, we'll, we'll jump cut to that. Yeah, edit. Oh, it's boiling. It's steamy. We're back and it's boiling. Ready to get broth in the face? I'm ready to get brothed. Ooh. Oh yeah. That is a onion and chicken jacuzzi. <laughs> I got a lot of broth steam in my throat. Bay leaf to the face. Bay <laughs> leaf to the face. All right, now we're gonna turn it down to low and then cook until the chicken's cooked all the way through. All right, I'm turning up the burner. I'm gonna take my chickens out. Oh my God, my camera got steamed up. <laughs> Woo. That looks good. Beautiful. Are you sure? Are you ready? What's happening? I'm gonna take out the chickens. Okay, great. Yeah. Woo. And then we're gonna strain this broth into a large Pyrex. Look at those peppercorns. Look at my peppercorns, baby. I know what you're thinking. You can't wait for this to be gelatin. And to make our chicken broth into chicken jello, we're gonna combine it with gelatin and egg whites. So we're gonna pour the broth into a pot. Perfect, great. Got it, okay. And then dump in eight packets of unflavored gelatin. Okay, so I'm gonna do two at a time because I have to whisk as I put them in. We don't want any clumps in there. Nope. Ooh. There's some style there, some finesse. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna separately prepare three eggs from our egg white carton. Which is about six tablespoons. Six tablespoons according to Silver Carl. And then we're gonna froth it with a hand mixer. I'm glad we get to skip the egg white juggle. This thing. You're good at that though. I, but I'm glad we're skipping it right now. Okay. We're going in with cartoned egg whites, baby. Frothed eggs. Frothed eggs. And once that's done, we're gonna pour those into our mixture. Then we're gonna put our mixture on high heat until the egg whites are cooked through. They'll start to like float to the top, that's our tell. It's got like an egg white cloud on the top. Then we're gonna strain the broth again into a large Pyrex, pouring it through a cheesecloth. I have to go slow here. Oh, it looks interesting over there. Got a little burn on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Carly says, yeah. I don't know if that's right, but it happened to me every time. Okay, so. good. It happened to Carly. All right, we have our chicken stock and it's got gelatin in it and egg whites. So we're now ready to pour it into our mold. Yes. And to start building up our, I don't know, what are we gonna call it? Chicken Tower of Terror. Tower Death. of Terror. Tower, tower of Terror, yeah. <laughs> we can start building our Chicken Tower of Terror with this chicken stock. I like that. Tower of Terror, yeah. Uh, that was pretty good for me, yeah. 
That's why she's here. Uh, that's, a good line. that's why she's here. I was wondering. For was one wondering. good line of video <laughs> and a lot of mediocre shots from the G7X. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off by pouring our top layer because basically what you're doing is you're gonna like create it in reverse order, right? Yeah, from molds... top to bottom. Exactly. Yeah, because so... the mold's upside down. There you go. Your peak is gonna be like gelatin only. So I went kind of fast there because everything started happening. <laughs> I have a flaming Pyrex in my hand. Then you start layering on your decor. Yes. Because this is all about presentation. Yeah. It's all about wowing. It's impressing your guests at an elegant dinner. Exactly. Just go out there like this and they're like, holy shit. And in between layers, we're gonna be sticking our mold into the freezer to solidify. In their video, they had it in like an ice bath throughout, but that makes the mold float. Okay. So Carly's method is just to put it in the freezer in between. Got it. Which I feel like works. Yes. It works. Whatever Silver Carl says we're doing. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> and while it's in there, we're gonna prep our chicken and our other Jello fixins. Our accoutrement. Here's the peas, let's defrost the peas. Here's the olives. And here's the pimento peppers. Here's a knife. It's sheathed, don't worry. We're gonna start with slicing up our chicken. Now in the TikTok slash YouTube video, they did it like pretty artfully, which I don't think I'm going to do. I'm gonna just try my best here. That looks pretty good. It looks cooked at least. It is cooked to infinity and beyond, frankly. These look good, Ty. Artistically done. There's some, there's some, um, there's an artisanal quality to that. You got a few drew on TikTok, kid. So I feel like this is all coming together. Yes. Perfect timing. Yeah. We have all of our ingredients prepped and our first round of gelatin is ready. It's set. It's all coming together. Ready, set, jello. And for our second layer, we're gonna go for a pattern of olives and pimento peppers. Now, they use chopsticks to have precision. Now, I am not very attuned with chopsticks. Like, I can do general things. I'm more of a dumpling guy than a precision guy. So, you can use this if you'd like, but I have here. Oh, am I doing it too? That Silver Carl's given me, which are essentially these prongs with hands on them. <laughs> this is the official tool for this for me. Tiny hands? Tiny hands. <laughs> oh God, this is actually really slippery. Okay, here we go. Are you sure this is easier? No, you got it. You're nailing, yeah, exactly, exactly. So let's, let's try something. They sort of did like a, a grid pattern, almost like a kaleidoscope of peppers and olives. I was gonna say almost like a tic-tac-toe board. Oh, you can just do But it's all zeros. Dude, this is, this is coming together. God, this is hard. Then the minute you pour in the gelatin, it's just gonna float away. Yeah. That's what's so <laughs> This so might be the biggest waste of time of all time. <laughs> here, you want tiny hands or you wanna go? You're going tiny hands? Uh, I wanna see how hard it is. Okay, fine. All right, here we go. Tic-tac-toe. One right in the middle, right? Okay, what do we think about that? It's pretty damn good. Now what we need to do is pour in our next round of chicken gelatin. Yes, and ruin the design. Probably. Oh, the olives are floating. Yeah. The olives are floating. Well, the design is mostly gone. Yes. <laughs> but it's sort of a beautiful slow dance of the olives, if you if you will. <laughs> kind of like a dance of the sugar plum fairy. Yes, right. Dance of the Morlatons. There's something beautiful and tragic about the olives right now. Oh, here we go. Into the freezer, 30 minutes. Okay, so now that our second layer is set, look at that olive in suspension. It's carbonite frozen in there. It does kind of, I mean, it is giving amber vibes. So Jurassic Park, but Jello, not too far off. We're gonna go in for a third layer. And this time, it's just chicken. All right, let me go back in with the chopstick this time, actually. It's chicken, people. Let me tell you about something. It's called a uh, chicken. All right, I'm ready now to, to drizzle. So in, fly in. That's chicken, people. Perfect. Gently, gently, beautiful. Okay, so we're on to our next layer, which is just peas. Peas! Beautiful. The sanctity of the jello is there. It's jiggling. I feel like this is something that could have been eaten in like a Jetsons episode. Right, a, a past vision of the future. Right, Elroy. Rosie, we're Rosie We're living one. in space, so we need all of our nutrients encased inside of gelatin. Exactly. Right, yeah. Oh, that's cute. I do not want to disrupt ah! this poor peas. Okay, we're going. Looking good. Show me the peas. Show me the peas. So with our peas looking real entombed. Oh, they look cute. Gelatinous and wonderful. We have another round of olives and peppers. All right, so for this design, I'm thinking we do concentric circles. Crop circles, but it's peppers and olives. Exactly. All right, tiny hands. Tiny hands with the peppers? All right, you're giving me really. Here, you can go with chopsticks. No, it's okay. I want to complain about it, but still do it. Oh, yeah, got it. A circle of peppers. You've been outflanked now by the olives. Do you feel in charge? Yeah, I, oh, uh, mm, mm, what are you doing? Uh, I had a plan for those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Here, did you see the chopsticks? No, no. I won't abandon the hands. It's okay, hands. It's you and me, baby. Here's my thought. 
Ray rays of sunlight. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> this looks like an arm. Mm. <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> I will say, Sof, you think your creative vision here paid off. This looks pretty good. And now you will ruin it. I will. Yeah. Those olives are not maintaining their integrity. No. Yeah, that's, that, that happened fast. Yeah. Well, that was definitely worth the time. All right, picking this guy up. Goodbye. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our freezer to get our chicken tower. Let's see how it looks. Oh, beautiful. And then our final layer is gonna be like a strip of chicken surrounded by peas on both sides. So let's like use the rest of our chicken here. It's a fair amount of chicken. We don't have to use all the chicken. Or you guys use as much as we can. The rest we'll eat plain with no sauce, no seasoning, just straight down the gullet. All right, now we're gonna go in with peas on both sides. Beautiful. I'm talking about peas, baby. Some peas. And now for our final stocking. That looks pretty good. Kind of beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these guys are more buoyant than others. Okay, so that is the final layer of our Tower of Terror, Chicken Edition. So what we're gonna do now is put it in the fridge, not the freezer, for like three to four hours to really let it settle, and then we're gonna take it out, jiggle it, wiggle it, and taste it. So, <laughs> let's put it in the fridge. <laughs> Give having... me a smile, pose with it. Beautiful. Let me try to get it there without too much movement. All right. Nope. Oh. Farewell, friend. Okay, the time is nigh. It's actually been like many, many hours, but it's time for us to get this bad boy out of the fridge. Ah, there she is, a beaut. Oh, that looks settled. Oh, looks nice. I mean, the bottom layer is nice. It's not even jiggly right now. It's very firm. It's very firm. All right, so I am going to apply warm water on the outside of the mold to get our gelatin tower to strip from the sides of it. Oh, uh, oh you see that in there? No, yeah. Look, at the, look oh, at the edges. Oh, maybe. And then I can basically just flip it over. It's gonna pop out. Oh, I think it might be ready to pop. All right, it might be time. This yeah. time? Okay. All right, ready? Yes. Ready, and flip. Oh! Oh! oh it's moving, it looks it's beautiful. Okay, before it slides off, back into the fridge, back right. into the fridge. Back in the fridge. Back to what you came. Is there room in the fridge? Oh, uh, yeah! We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. Uh, yes, I'm making it right now. <laughs> stop, it's oh, gonna fall. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Oh, wait, stop, stop. Is it someone filming? Stop, stop, film, stop, yes. film. It, it's definitely sliding, so be very careful. I'm literally filming it. It looks amazing. There's chicken stock all over our ground. You got this, you got this, you got this. Bomb spaghetti. Oh. Oh. That was so scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it started moving, no, 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 no. That was very blob-ish. That thing looked like it was gonna fuck. That was like the monster in Stranger Things 3. Although I will say that I feel like it's a little, you know, we sort of missed the climactic it worked moment because oh. we were having the climactic maybe it won't work moment. It worked. <laughs> All right, let's take this bad boy out. It could still be slippery in there, so let's be careful. Bring it to me. Sing for me, Paolo. Oh, wow. This is, this is beautiful, honestly. This is like my favorite thing we've ever made. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Your ad exec coworker brings us out, WYD. I love the olives that are trapped weirdly in the top layer. Vertical. Yeah, <laughs> they're like car tires. I, I just, I'm just zooming in as far as I can go. Oh my God. Ready? Oh my God. Ready? I'm literally zooming into another dimension. <laughs> okay, let's eat this thing. All right, people, I'm cutting it. Okay. Uh-oh, uh -oh, the chicken. Oh no. Oh. You have to saw. Oh. What was that sound? <laughs> okay. That's a full slice. The sounds, the different sounds. I'm upset. Oh sh This chicken's really in my way. Oh, 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 oh. breach, breach, breach. Oh f Are we f No, no, we're good. Is it all over? No, no. The opposite. This is just the beginning. All right, how do we serve it? Okay, Rosanna ready? Panzino frosting spreader? <laughs> Bring it out! <laughs> Rosanna! <laughs> no! Rosanna, no! It's collapsing in on itself! <laughs> You're just <laughs> grabbing it. You're just grabbing it with your hands. Nice! <laughs> Any chicken? The chicken's stuck inside, isn't the it? The chicken is, is stuck inside. Here. Should you reach in and take the chicken out? Oh, you want me to get some chicken? Uh, oh. You want that piece of chicken over there? I was gonna say that, the one that's there. Okay. Ignore this me. is a, uh, a, a, a structural might, piece of chicken. It might be a structural piece of chicken. <laughs> this is a load-bearing chicken, so I think that if we were to take that one out, we could have some serious problems It just hits here. the deck. Yeah. Should we taste it? Yes. Okay, let me just... Are you gonna feed me? Incoming, sweet. <laughs> that's the bite that's coming my way, in case anyone's wondering. All right. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> I'll eat it if you don't want it. <clears throat> No, I can do it. Go. 
<laughs> will, you get, will you get it together here? <laughs> okay. Okay, I got a little pepper and I got some chicken on this bad boy. Okay, my two cents is that the flavor is not so bad. There's a tear in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Full on crying. <laughs> the flavor is not so bad. It does, it tastes just like chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. The cold texture of the jello is where I have a hard time swallowing. Oh, oh my God, please. It's, 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 it's wonderful. <laughs> Anything but that. It's oh, wonderful. yeah. Not the noise too. Yeah. I I like it because I feel like that the uh, the gelatin is actually like a cold wet noodle. Well, it's almost like if it like in the chicken noodle soup soup, it is a stand-in for both the broth and the noodle. So I'm getting it all at once. And also I think that the pepper is a winner. Here, try it with the pepper. The pepper really tastes good. Have you eaten a bite yet? I already had okay. a bite. Yeah, I liked it. That was <laughs> I had a, it just keeps feeding it. <laughs> yeah, it's not so bad. The peas are good. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately for everyone involved, the peas are good. Yeah. The worst part is the chicken. When I got the initial bite with the chicken and the olive and the jello, I could barely get it down. The chicken was too much for me. I could eat this. I, you might have to. I'm gonna eat this. I wanna get one more piece. Oh my God. This smashing, crowd-pleasing delight is positively worth the two days of love and labor. So is this vintage recipe vile or what's a different word that starts with a V that means the opposite of vile? Va vile or very good? <laughs> <laughs> I think that this thing is actually, it's probably both. Yeah. Because it's really fun. I think the worst part was how long it took to make. The flavor I don't think is actually vile. But I actually would like to almost like whip it out and take it to like a dinner party, a potluck, if you will, a Friendsgiving as sort of like a shocker. Like, it oh yeah, here, check this out. A conversation piece. Borderline prank. This dish will surely be a delight for your guests and will be talked about for ages. Maybe you guys can comment down below what other things we should put into gelatin. A stapler, perhaps. But if you like that video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Here are our various social media handles. Here is our merch website. What else can I beckon at? Here is our gelatinous chicken blob. <laughs> Tower of terror, if you will. Um, and with that, we'll see you guys uh, next time.